Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a minute driven program to calculate and display the Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature according to the user choice. So first you are going to see the question. Using a switch case statement, write a minute driven program to convert a given temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. So you have to display a menu uh, that is Fahrenheit or Celsius. According to the user choice, you have to calculate and display the Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, temperature. For an incorrect choice, an appropriate message should be displayed. So if you uh, display, if you enter some other number, then you have to display some wrong message. So for first you have to see the formula. Suppose if they want to find the centigrade value, then you have to input a Fahrenheit value, that is F, and then you have to calculate in this formula and then, then store the result in the uh, variable c that is c equal to 5 by 9 into f minus 32 that is to find the uh, Fahrenheit to centigrade okay so next one is uh, centigrade to Fahrenheit you have to use this formula f equal to 9 by 5 into c plus 32 so centigrade value should be input and then calculate in this formula and then store the output in f that is a Fahrenheit value and that should be displayed on the screen now you are going to go for the program in blue j So the first line you can see that uh, import Java dot scanner, which will uh, which will import the scanner class, which is available in Java dot package into the program. Then I got the class name, public class, temperature. Okay, temperature is the class name, and then you got public static void main function inside which you got the program. So first line is scanner object. You are going to create the scanner object using the statement scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in. Okay, now we got two variables here, double, both are double variables, uh, double type, data type, and then uh, you got uh, C and F, C is nothing but the centigrade and F is nothing but the Fahrenheit. Okay, why I am not using uh, separate variable for the output is, you are not going to use both the variables separately, you are going to use it, if suppose they are asking for Celsius, you are not going to use uh, Fahrenheit as the input, you are going to use as the output. So, one will be used as input and another one will be used as output. So that's the reason we don't have we need no need of using separate variable for storing the output. So I'm just using two variables. Next uh, two statement is the menu that is uh, one Celsius and two Fahrenheit will be displayed on the screen and then you have to uh, enter a message for the user to enter some choice. So you can uh, display like this: enter your choice. So whatever number uh, the user input will be stored into into the variable choice of which is of integer type. Now you are going to check the variable whatever the user typed is uh, using switch case. Okay. Now switch choice if the case is 1 that is if the uh, choice is 1 then uh, case 1 will be true so it will be executed. Now here you are going to input the Fahrenheit value since you are going to find the Celsius you are going to find the, uh, get the Fahrenheit value and then convert it into Celsius. So whatever value uh, which is double value which will be uh, which will be taken uh, from, the, from the keyboard uh, it will be stored in f and the formula is used c equal to 5 by 9 into f minus 32 but here you can see that it is given as 5 into f minus 32 and then finally divided by 9 i will tell you what is the reason for it uh, after the execution next you are going to display the uh, centigrade value that is uh, celsius value on the screen after that you are going to close, you are going to terminate the switch case uh, by using break statement. Okay. Suppose if the choice is 2, then the case 1 will be false, it will go to case 2, so it will enter inside. Now you are going to enter the Celsius value. Okay. So here uh, you are going to, whatever value you enter will be stored in C. Now you are going to use the formula 9 by 5 into C plus 32 okay, and then store the result in F. And then display the temperature uh, in Fahrenheit, okay, and then stop. Suppose if the input is not uh, 1 and 2, then it will be, it will directly go to the default statement, that is a wrong input, so you are going to uh, display it as wrong category, okay. So this is what the program is all about. Now you are going to compile this program, okay, no syntax errors, we are going to execute this. Okay, so first you are going to enter the choice. You can see the menu here, uh, 1 Celsius and 2 Fahrenheit, enter your choice. Automatically the user will go for 1 or 2. So I am pressing 1 here. 
Now enter the Fahrenheit value. So Fahrenheit value, you know that should be higher than the Celsius value. So I'm just try it. I entering 99.7. So you can see the temperature. Uh, temperature in Celsius is 37.6 something. Okay. So this is what you're going to get after converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'm going to execute it again. Uh, this time I'm going to give the Celsius value. Uh, sorry, I'm going to find the Fahrenheit value, so I am going to press uh, 2. Now I am going to enter the Celsius value, so I am going to just enter say uh, 32.6. Now you can see the uh, temperature in Fahrenheit is 116.28. Okay, so it is just higher than the uh, Celsius. Now I am going to give the uh, wrong value, so if I am not entering 1 or 2, I am just entering 3, so you can see wrong category. Okay, so this is what uh, the program is all about. I was saying about this formula, okay, say because in the question it was given as uh, 5 by 9 into F minus 32. So I will just type it and show you what happens if I use 5 by 9 in front. That is you are dividing the value 5 by 9 and then uh, multiply it with F minus 32. Uh, so I am going to do only for the first case, you will see what is happening. Okay, now I am going to execute it. Now I am going to enter 1. So Celsius value uh, 99.7 or Fahrenheit value is 99.7. You can see the temperature in Celsius is 0, 0.0. Okay. So I'll tell you why is this. Now uh, according to the typecast, that is according to the type conversion, uh, if the uh, two operands are of same type, that means say you got 5 and 9, okay, which is of integer type because you don't have any decimal digits. So 5 is integer. 9 is also integer, so automatically result also will be what, uh, it will be integer, right. So 5 by 9, the quotient will be 0. So uh, if you get 0, when you multiply 0 with this, what happens, whatever value you multiply with 0, uh, 0 will be 0, right. So that's why you are getting the output as 0, 0.0. Now you suppose when you divide this here, I am just entering 5 into uh, then f minus 32 then divided by 9 now you can see that you will get some value here and when you divide it by 9 you may get some decimal digit okay now uh, you can see left hand side that is this part f is a double value okay if you have one operand of uh, is of double and another one is of integer because when you do this uh, this part uh, this will be converted into double right numerator part will be become a double value and then denominator is integer value so if one operand is uh, double another operand is integer then automatically the result will be in double so that's why you are getting the answer correct okay so that's what i want to say it in this video uh, i hope you understood this uh, you can try out this program uh, we'll meet in the next video till then thank you